what I got from it personally was he traded in the punchline flow for just having perspective. The, the lyrics and everything he's talking about, I'm with, I'm following, but I, I just don't see how he's going to attract and gain audience and people who's just not stuck in that following of the street gutter type music. I was pleasantly surprised. Not a bar seems wasted on this thing. Uh, the one thing I will say about this, this album is, and I, and I gave him a little bit of, I won't say credit, but a leniency in terms of the production. Yeah, uh, well, do we I sound the same? The last album, uh, yeah, he 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 does. Like, I mean, just as far as a Banks type flow, and it was still missing some of the stuff that I think that he lacks a little bit, which is like the hooks. The hooks were still kind of bland. Let's start with let's start with the vets, man. Let's start with the guys that's been doing it the longest, and then we'll we'll go out to the little babies and the dirks. But I'd like to start with Lloyd Banks, the course of the inevitable. Oh, okay, okay, the course of the inevitable. Uh, Banks uh, hasn't lost his pen or his flow with this one right now. Uh, that's that was like my it was the highlight portion of it. Like he could still write. Uh, Still, I feel like he got a ghostwriter type flow, though. You know what I mean? He got the gift of pen, just not the presence on the mic. Uh, some of the stuff, uh, it's just no versatility or energy. Like I see him when he come in with his bars, there's no emphasis on it. He has a witty line or something like this, but it's the emphasis on it or the delivery is always lacking to me. And then uh, as it was evident on songs that, when he had features on here, which I liked it a lot more, uh, I could see the part that I was like missing a lot because you hear like some of the the ad libs that other artists throw into theirs that that are vets as well. You know that the what they throw up in here, and then you you know like uh, I don't know what that part is called, but the little echo in the background after they deliver something like when they talking and stuff in the background, uh, that portion is. I found out with Lloyd Banks, it's always the last word that he says. It's like a, it's almost like an echo with his. Is that's all it is? Where everybody else will say something different to to improve the delivery of the message they trying to send off or or something like that. But he never did and never changed up throughout that. And like I said, the 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 lyrics and everything he's talking about, I'm with, I'm following, but. I, I just don't see how he's going to attract and gain audience and people who's just not stuck in that following of the street gutter type music and pull anybody else in with this type of flow. Okay. So for me, man, for me, I felt like not listening to him as much as I used to in the past. This was kind of my reintroduction to him. Like I heard the Cold Corners one, but I haven't listened to those mixtapes in such a long time. I'm not even going to pretend like I have really, you know, been listening to it. So when I got this, I was excited, number one, because it was an album. Number two, it seemed like he was taking it seriously with the promo and leading up to it. And just from hearing different podcasts talk about, hey, Banks is coming with an album and he's serious about it. So I was cool from that aspect, like, okay, Banks got some shit coming, but then we get 18 tracks, so immediately I'm kind of standoffish because we be getting all these EPs from people, you know what I mean, and then you're kind of like, uh, how is this going to be, but I'm such a fan of Banks, like, I'm I'm going in with open ears and, and hoping to hear something dope, and then what I got from it personally was he traded in the punchline flow for just having perspective. Like now it's perspective banks is he still has the one lines and the witty one liners here and there, but these songs was just nothing but growth to me and something that you like to see in hip hop aging. Well, like it's a lot of gems on here as far as just life lessons, things he's been through. You got songs like 
uh, falsify, break me down, stranger things, Cody, dishonorable discharge, where they're talking about different emotions that we all go through with friends, family, and all that stuff. And it ain't just rapping. You got to listen to it. You got to listen to it. You can't skim through it or you're going to miss something. 18 tracks is a lot of tracks for most people, but I feel like the features you got Styles P on food, Rock Marciano, even Rock Marciano, Mar Marciano, who we were like from his past when we were like, ah, this one sounds, we know rock and rap, but it sounded too monotone to us. But even Rock Marciano had a very great guest appearance. Benny the Butcher came on and killed it. Freddie, Freddie Gibbs was keeping up on the same type of flow as Banks. Like you could tell, like he went and got the spitters and everybody delivered. There's not one whack feature on here. I, I can't even say that. Like everybody came with it. So I was pleasantly surprised. Not a bar seems wasted on this thing. Uh, the one thing I will say about this, this album is, and I, and I gave him a little bit of, I won't say credit, but a leniency in terms of the production, like how sharp the production sounded. Like I, I think whoever was the engineer, maybe, maybe Lloyd did it himself and, and got it out the mud, which I kind of got from some of his tweets that he, he was like, we just going to have to do this on our own as, as far as word of mouth and getting it out there that the album's out there. So I would have liked a little bit more on some of the beats. You know what I mean? It didn't sound as pristine and crispy as I'd like from, from a listener sound point and how I like polished albums. But on the flip side, there are people that like this type of sound, this type of grimy sound. You know what I'm saying? To where it's not fully mixed. It's not fully mastered. It's just beats and rhymes and you put it out there. So for me, the course and inevitable is going to be high in my replay value because I'm still catching things up until today. And I'm pretty sure a couple of weeks from now, I may have some more favorite songs from this thing, but yeah, I, I, I definitely rocks with this. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel you. Yeah. And I can understand where you're coming from. Uh, you know, New York homebody, you gotta, you gotta respect it. Uh, but yeah, just the, the lack of energy brought that he brought on the track, just kind of like, just he it made the the features a lot better like i said before whereas it seemed like he's the perfect setup because like whenever somebody else comes on the track they instantly interject that energy on there and they stand out a lot more when it's around banks to me and that was that was unfortunate but i did like those tracks on that empathy uh formaldehyde for uh food falsified pain and pressure pain pressure paranoia smoke and mirrors yeah, so he got some fire on there, man. So y'all yeah. definitely listen. If you think you're going in there to get punchline to death, no, you're going to get some depth in the music. It's just a matter on what you like. If you're not a huge Lloyd Banks fan, I'm not sure if he's going to win you over for this. But if you haven't heard Banks in a while, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how he's changed his flow altogether. I don't know. I mean, you said it's been 10 years since you listened, right, Prez? Uh, well, do he I sound the same? Last album. Uh, yeah, he's, he he does. Like, I mean, just as far as a Banks type flow, and it was still missing some of the stuff that I think that he lacks a little bit, which is like the hooks. The hooks were still kind of bland. Uh, like I said, he, he didn't have that the energy on those witty punchlines. It was more of just like a, a straight tone with it, which kind of like killed it for me. That was that was about it. But he's he, if you like Banks before, you're going to love this Banks. All right. All right. All right. So that's Lloyd Banks, the course of the inevitable. Really, really dope. Listen, y'all check it out. Let us know how you feel about it.